So this is an interesting study. So basically there is a man by the name of Matthew Bertone. He is from North Carolina State. He is a scientist and he's really interested in bugs and what bugs are in our homes, which led him to a survey. He surveyed the indoor biome of 50 freestanding houses in and around Raleigh, North Carolina. Now, I must ask you, are you afraid of bugs? No. Do you have a problem? Not at all. Well, I don't like them, but I like to preserve their lives. So, I don't like killing bugs. So when you see a spider inside your house, I'm you like, I'm going to get it cup and, and we're going outside. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God bless you. Okay. So they did a survey of 50 houses and what they were trying to find out is how many different species of bugs, arthropods. So arthropods include insects, spiders, centipedes, and the like. Also flies, spiders, beetles, ants, mm -hmm. things like that. Um, so he wanted to know how many species were in a house in his area. Okay, so they sampled between May and October of 2012, um, inspecting each room and collecting all of these animals, okay, alive and dead. So here's where the data comes into fact and what's actually quite disturbing. So he found between 32 and 211 different species of bugs in each house, right? Um, on average, 93 per house, okay? And they sampled over 600 different species in the house. Now, the vast majority of them came from, uh, this is 73%, were either flies, spiders, beetles, or wasps and ants. Okay, so what do you think about this, knowing that in your home there are probably at least 100 different species of bugs? See, I... I'm questioning this story a lot in a lot of different ways. Okay, because let's hear it. Because of the seasons, they are in summertime is when they're doing this, and I feel like everything's like full-fledged in summer. But at the same <laughs> time, maybe insects come into your house more during the wintertime. I'm not really sure their Whether processes. And then another thing is, is North Carolina is known for being one of those places that is kind of... It has the climate to host a lot of bugs, if that makes sense. Like if you go outside, there are a lot of roaches, a lot of ants. If they're counting ants too, that's like a game changer. If what, you have how many ant, species of ants? It's on, it's on insects, it's species of insects. Okay. So there could be many of ants. Of each one, but yeah. those are the different kinds. Okay, exactly. that makes more sense then. Because I was like, okay, well I could You're have You're not impressed ants. by a hundred bugs. You're like, eh, I got It depends on how big the house is too. If your house is one bedroom and you have a hundred bugs chilling, then- You have a hundred species of bugs. There's got, actually something wrong. But you if you have a problem. huge house, you have a huge basement, maybe you just don't go some places sometimes. I don't know. I <laughs> would be very distraught if like, this guy came into my house, he's like, okay, Rich, I'm going to do my study on your house. And he came back and he had, like, a platter. And he was oh. like, these <laughs> are the 100 thought. species of bugs that are in your house currently. Because I don't, it's not like I see many bugs yeah. often, um, which is, I think, why this story was so disturbing for me. Yeah. Um, is that they're kind the of hidden just, creatures. Yeah. Then I think maybe you should definitely not read any stories about bed bugs because that will really mess you up. <laughs> yeah, I've never had bed bugs, thank God. No, but everyone does. What? It's a thing, Is yeah. That a story? They're like parasites and everything. Yeah, it's like a real thing. Don't look it up. Don't look it up. You're gonna, like, burn <laughs> your mattress, burn your pillows, everything's going. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, uh, let me know what you think in the comments below yeah. about this story. And don't forget to subscribe 